Hello guys, welcome to the second video on Microsoft Access Database Tutorial for Beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how to create a database and how to create table and how to design your table with different column types. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to use some properties in Microsoft Access and I will also show you how you can create your form using access database so let's get started so i have uh, uh, filled some uh, data in my database and this is the database which we have created last time so our database name was employee info and the table name was employee data and this contains some data now you have some properties uh, by which you can manipulate this data for example you want to arrange this data for example this first name column in ascending order starting from a and ending to the z, z right so how you can do it just select the column and click this button A to Z ascending and then your names will be ascending it will be in ascending order okay you can do it descending order also Z to A just click this button and you can do it for any column so for example I want to um, order my column in ascending order just select the column and click this button and there is something called the filter so for example you select some column and press some press this filter you can filter these column values according to this filter for example you whatever rows you want to see you just check them and other uh, rows you can uncheck them and click ok and you can see here your data is filtered according to your filter and when you press this toggle filter then your whole data will come there is also here some little buttons if you are able to see here here also you can filter your data right you can order your column ascending or descending and you can just filter your data like this okay and toggle this you can also find and replace uh, the data for example I just select some uh, column and some row for example this employee id 7 and i want to change the name of this column so for example employee id 8 this uh, starts with a small letter so i want to uh, start the name with a capital letter so i will just select this row and i will go to find and replace so just I click this replace button here and I want to find David and I want to replace it with capital letter David right so and I will say replace and it says it can't find it so what you need to do is here in this look in you just select employee data which is the data table name okay and so it will select the whole table and it will search in the whole table and not in the column itself okay and just find it first and you find this name and you replace it okay 
and once you replace it just close your window and save your data like this okay and yeah you can find these values and there are some advanced stuff also which you can play with and um, you can discover new properties in this form in this uh, table now there is uh, something called forms you can create with this database so what you can do is once you have saved all this you can close this window and you can go to this tab called create and you can create forms with the help of your a data table which you have so what you can do is you can click this uh, form design button and it will give you this form design so this is for designing but we want our form uh, to contain the data table columns which we have so what you need to do is you can just select this form here and just click this form button here and in here you can see you have this uh, title employee data which is the, the table name and you have these uh, text boxes and labels here so it looks like a form and you can uh, navigate through your data by these buttons so these are the buttons you can navigate your data and if you want to punch in new data what you can do is you can just click this small button which says new blank record so when i click this i can enter a new record so for example i want to enter a new record but when I want to enter a new record, I need to go I, or I need to click this button. Then only I will be able to uh, enter the new data. So there is a form view, layout view and design view. So in form view, you will be able to enter the data and save the data. In layout view, you can change the layout of your form. So in the form view, we are in the form view right now and for example, let's uh, enter some data and surname and date of birth and the country you can see here because we have given a drop down menu you can use the drop down menu here also and you can give the phone number here and once you are done with this you can save this and click ok and click ok so this is the it will ask you to save your uh, form and you can give the name to your form so for example I can give my form name as employee data form okay and when I click OK here it will create this form here for me and I can toggle to this uh, employee data table and employee data form so when I click this I want to close this first and I will just right click my employee data table and I will say open and in here you see you will have this new data which you have entered in the form so once again I close this table and I go to the form right click it and open it and I can click this button new blank record and I can enter the new record okay so, for example, a new record, and the date of birth, and 
and the country with the drop down menu and the phone number and just save this data and once again go to the table open it and you can see this new data right there in the table also so you can create this form you can create this table i hope you understood the concept of this form making form and in the next video i will show you how to query your database and reports so stay tuned and please write comment and subscribe and bye for now